Welcome back everybody, my name is Brendan Dickinson and today I'm going to be taking you through installing Unreal Engine. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to install Unreal Engine 4 as well as Unreal Engine 5 Early Access and creating your first projects in each of those to get you started. So let's jump right into it. First we'll need to get to the Unreal Engine download page. We can do this by googling Unreal Engine download and clicking on the first link. This is what the page will look like, and it's going to ask you to choose either the creator's or the publisher's license. I'm going to do a video later on that talks about the different licenses that Unreal has and which one might be best for you, but as far as the engine and its tools are concerned, there's no difference, so don't worry about that. We're just going to be using the creator download button for now. This is going to ask you to log on if you haven't already, and if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for one using the sign up link. Once you've created your account and reached this download page, it should ask you to accept the end user license agreement or EULA. I would read this and press accept. Afterwards, it should automatically start downloading the installer. If it doesn't, you can simply click on the link to retry downloading. Here you'll see steps to installing the Unreal Engine and even a video that they have on it, but I'm gonna be taking you through it step by step. Next, we'll want to run the installer you just downloaded, and this installs the Epic Games Launcher. This isn't actually the Unreal Engine yet. Once installed, we can open up the Epic Games Launcher, and if it's the first time that you've opened it up, it's gonna ask you to sign in. Every subsequent time you try to open it up, it shouldn't ask you to sign in. You should just be able to get into it, no problem. Now you should be on the Unreal Engine page. On the left, you can see it says Unreal Engine, and on the UE4 or Unreal Engine 4 tab on the top. In the top right, you should see an Install Engine button, and we'll want to click this. It will then ask where you want to install the latest version of Unreal Engine 4, which right now is 4.27.2, but by the time you guys see this, it might even be a different version. You can choose if you'd like a desktop shortcut as well. I'll keep this in the default location and install. If you would like to install a different version of Unreal Engine 4, you can cancel out of this window, click the X in the top left of the version, and uninstall to remove it. Then click the plus sign and it will pop back up with a little arrow in the top right to designate the version of the engine you'd like to install. So once the download finishes, you'll be able to launch Unreal Engine 4. You might get the Windows Defender firewall pop up to which you can just allow access. It'll take some time to initialize, but we'll eventually show you the project browser. Here you can choose what you are using Unreal for, games or something else, and then it will take you to the templates page. If you're just starting with Unreal, I would recommend choosing one of the templates that's closest to what you're interested in and playing around with it a bit. If you're creating a game from scratch, you'll want to choose the blank project and work from there. For now, I'll just use the first person template. The next page has to do with project settings, and none of these are set in stone or anything, you can change them later. Here you can decide whether you'll be primarily using blueprints or C++ code, as well as the quality settings the platform that you're going to be building for, whether you want extra starting content, and if you want ray tracing for extra realism. You'll also see at the bottom you can change the location and name of your project. I'm just going to leave this as is and click create. It might take a moment to create the project, but afterwards it should open up and there you have it. You've created your first project with Unreal Engine 4. You can press play and play around with the basic stuff and escape to stop. Now I want to show how to install Unreal Engine 5 as well because I know a lot of people want to play with the new version. If we go back to the Epic Games Launcher, you can see that there is a UE5 tab on the far right, making sure you're still under Unreal Engine on the left side. Here we can just click Download Early Access. This will add a version to our library, to which we can then click Install, and it's also going to have a EULA that you should read and accept. When you download it, they will tell you that this is early access and it's not meant for production yet. What this means is that you shouldn't be using it to build your final games that you're going to end up publishing. You should really just be messing around with the tools, the features, seeing how it's changed, and also maybe prototyping certain things out. We can just hit install and it's going to be a very similar process to Unreal Engine 4. We'll choose the location of the editor and if we want a shortcut, then hit install. Again, this will take some time. Once it's finished, it will look exactly like Unreal Engine 4 and we can click launch. You might get another firewall access pop-up and you can just click allow. This project browser looks a bit different, but is essentially the same information as the Unreal Engine 4 one. Just looks a little bit better in my opinion. You can choose from your recent projects or choose what type of project that you want to be creating. I'll go ahead and choose games again as I did with the Unreal Engine 4 
and here I can choose where the project will be saved and what the name will be, as well as which template I'd like to use and some settings in the bottom right here. Let's just choose the first person template again and create our project. Once everything loads, you'll now be in Unreal Engine 5. The UI will look quite different, but uh, overall it's going to be very similar to Unreal Engine 4, and we can play and mess around with things just the same as we did with Unreal Engine 4. And there you have it, how to install Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 Early Access, as well as creating your first project in both. I hope I helped answer some of your questions. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, have fun creating, and I'll see you next time.